Yeah, I'm, I'm a conservative political scientist myself. Uh -huh. My only concern is, you know, Chuck Swindoll is a very, very pro-life pastor. Right, I, which is I, very wicked, right? Well, because I, the pro-life movement, all it does is regulate how, when, and where you can murder babies. The pro-life movement has never put forth a bill to make it illegal, ever. Well, the thing is that they that? have, there's a lot of, there's a lot of blocks to, to getting some sort no, of... No, there's not. It, yeah, it's illegal already in Texas, but the Supreme Court, who is not our king, made an opinion and you know what? All the wicked, evil men, Chuck Swindolls of this culture, who are very good pastors, right? Or preachers. They're not a pastor. Like, she's never had dinner with Chuck Swindoll. He's just a speaker here at this church, right? I have done or what I haven't done. Have you had dinner with Chuck Swindoll? If it were easy, why have you not succeeded? No, we're working on it, and we're calling the church to repent. Have you had... Have, have you had... I'm a Christian. So am I. So you're right. going to judge me? Well, are you judging me right now that I'm doing this wrong? I Right. And I'm judging the Christian community that is apathetic to legal murder of children and do nothing about it. It's a number. 60,000 a year. You are apathetic. I'm not you, sure that you know how difficult the process is, though. Because no. there, there, are, there are barriers to, no, to just the, making a, a law. I mean, but, but look. To, it has a pass. You know, you got right. bipartisan. You know, right. I mean, right. So people have, like, if, like if, if, you know, there's 70,000 pastors just in Texas, conservative evangelical pastors. All right, there's like six of them that showed up to uh, support this bill, right? But if just the pastors acted like Christians, the governor would sign the document like that. It, they would, the senators, the congressmen, everybody would follow through, right? I mean, almost everybody's pro-life and everybody goes to church, but it doesn't happen. And these leaders, the men who's supposed to stand at the gates, don't do what they're supposed to do. They don't practice James 127, which is true and undefiled religion, is taking care of widows and orphans in their times of need. I mean, it's the number one cause of death by double that of heart disease. I mean, my opinion, she may be in disagreement. I don't disagree with even the graphicness of what you're saying, but what I don't necessarily think is a great idea is for it to be outside in front of a church. I think it'd be better if you were doing this in front of like an abortion well, center. Well, we, we do it in front of abortion yeah, center. I think but that we, would be But if you do that, but if you did that, I, think you could I know. Just, you could probably just talk to people here and they'd be a lot more likely to jump. No, they ignore it. They ignore it already. They're totally apathetic. I don't need you to support me. I'm not asking for money. I'm saying you do the work. Go to your pastor. Call them. Call them. Well, how would you support me? You would just mentally agree with me? What is the plan? What is your action? What is my... All right. what the, is your, the action is we need to act like Christians. We need to be obedient to the Word of God. What the Word of God says that we are to do. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you knew your Bible, you would know what to do. If you repented of your apathy, you would start taking biblical action, right? And it's very biblical to stand in front of a congregation where Christians hang out and say, hey, we need to repent of our apathy. Look what's going on. They don't have a voice, right? So you do that. It's better to do, like, like if someone was trying to kill me, would it be better for me to run into an evil man's house asking for help or a good man's house looking for help? A good man, right? Because in principle, he would stand up and help protect me. So we go to churches because there are believers here that have been lulled to sleep daily, you know, listening beautiful sermons, getting their ears tickled while mass slaughter is going on in our towns and they ignore it. So that's all we're saying. I'm not saying I hate you. All I'm saying is, it was like, this child doesn't have a voice, but now he does, you know? And this happened in Houston, Texas, and this is legal today. You yeah, know? It's absolutely right. a thousand so, percent horrible. So we should do something about it. That's all I'm saying. And I know you don't like it, but I'll tell you what, if you tell me where you're going to lunch today, and if it's out in public, and there's gonna be a bunch of Christians there, I'll stand outside and ruin your lunch. I'll say, look, you go have a nice lunch, but I'm gonna be a, a voice for this child because nobody cares about this child and we need to make this illegal in the land. Like this shouldn't, this sh shouldn't happen. It just shouldn't, you know? And the reason it shouldn't happen is because your right. children are just as important as orphans or as this child right here to God. And not only that, but in Texas, there's 13,000 kids in foster care right now waiting to be adopted, but nobody wants them. How many college campuses do you do this on? A lot. A we go lot? to Yeah, we go to would, a lot. I would suggest that that, like, places like that or outside of abortion right. could be a, a lot better Right, place. so do that. Because, mommy, the thing but is, if you do like, that, at a church, I mean, we, for the most part, I can't speak for everybody. I can you have a good moral myself, opinion but, in there, yes. I mean, for the most part. <laughs> you have a good moral they're opinion. They're going to agree with right. what your message is. Just, I think. No, 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 no. My message is 
repent of being apathetic about this. Don't not that it's wrong. Apathetic. They are apathetic. What do you do? What do you? But you have not been able to tell me one thing you do to help make this illegal. In fact, you even say, well, what can we do? Well, what do you do besides hold these posters? A lot of things. We put forth bills to abolish abortion in Texas. Many people had, um, had a thing that said, we abolish abortion. Educated no. on those right. Versus just flashing images okay. that, to me, well, I, then, I here, accuse look at Well, then, look at this. All right. It's not fair to my kids because right. I do try to protect We'll, we'll stop when we make it illegal. Did you look at this? Because this talks about it. I just got one. I okay. So, one. all right. So, look at it because you can, can be educated on what we can do. And we can get pastors and elders and men of the community to stand up in the political arena and make it illegal. I mean, we are a republic. Abortion should not be legal, all right? No matter what the Supreme Court says, everybody has the right to life. And our government, our governor today could sign one document and go arrest every single abortion worker in Texas right now. Well, I don't know. Right now. I mean, it just bothers me that that's right. what yeah. you wanna say. It's okay for the children Did you get one of these? I know, I know. So, yeah, but trust me, we're, we're on the same page. No, just, no, we're not. I just think the message, like the specific right. location. Of your just message. look at it. You're a pro-lifer. You've admitted it yourself. And and abortion no, no, won't I'll, I'll take, abortion I'll, won't go I'll away go. until the pro-lifers die, until they're gone, until they repent of being apathetic. Now, like you care, right? But like, I think there's enough science to suggest that even the people that are that are anti-life, I mean, they are rather pro-choice. Like there, there's enough science to suggest that what they're saying is completely on flawed premises. It's really just a matter of time of really pro proving to them. No, it's not. It's, sure it is. It's I mean, godly. It's no, because evil people want to kill their babies. Sure. <laughs> evil people want to do evil things. That's why you go to a high school, you see evil and wickedness. Or you go to a college, you see evil and wickedness, right? You see debauchery, right? Well, pretty you don't you ask... No, you do. You get people flipping you off. This lady right here is acting like a super crazy person. No, you get, I had a guy out here try to, you know, he pushed me, tried stealing my signs. You, you can watch it. Just go to go to YouTube and go to Stonebriar and look at their videos. It's on YouTube. Do you filter their internet? Do you filter yeah. their phone? Our kids? Yeah. You think I let them, like, watch porn and everything else? Yeah, of course we do. Because it we homeschool them, too. Like, fair. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Like, I applaud that. Right. It feels to me, though, like you're being... A little bit disrespectful to the fact that I want to protect my children's mind from something that I feel. Protect your children all you want. I can't when you're parked in front of my <laughs> church that I bring them to to learn more about Christ and how to be a good person and a strong person and to fight things like this. Right. Well, all I'm saying is I hope your children grow up to actually oppose evil instead of just have a good moral opinion about it. All right. That's what we need to do. We need to actually do something about evil and wickedness where we can. All right. And we don't. Well, I want to return to her question. Her question was, what exactly, and I know you probably have something written in here and there, but what exactly would, after doing this, what do you suppose our plan for, our action from us would be from showing us this? What is the action? Well, what happens is, is people talk about it, right? And they discuss it and they think about it. And godly men actually will start thinking more rightly about it. So instead of saying, yeah, it's a horrible choice, or yeah, you know, abortion is really bad, they say, yeah, it is murder. Yeah, we should do something about it. And a few men will repent, which has actually happened here, okay? And they actually do things to help support making it illegal instead of just getting their ears tickled every Sunday, feeling good about themselves, going out and having a nice meal and watching a football game, all right? So that's the thing. We can actually like spur other men to do what's right, protect widows and orphans, right? We could do those things. We can look at it, like I was saying, 13,000 kids in foster care right now waiting to be adopted, but nobody, I'm serious about this, nobody wants them because they're not babies. So the church isn't picking them up, all right? So what they're doing is they're rotting in foster care. And you know who the, the number one um, foster care people are right now? People joining foster care to raise kids? The gays and lesbians, all right? And that's where they're going. And if you said, okay, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, um, take some foster care classes and we're gonna uh, adopt some foster kids you would sit with gays and lesbians that's what you would sit with going through the classes all right and it's sad because you know what this church could they're adopt cool, every single really well cared for versus no it is because they you can ask them do they want to be in foster care or do they want to be adopted you can ask them none of them want to be in foster care they I want mean, a forever I family my degree is in counseling i've i've been in the foster care I've, I've and it's them. wicked right it's horrible. Many yeah. yeah why don't we adopt them well, who's going to take care of them, though? You could you could adopt one and take care of it. I don't think I'm in a, a good financial situation teach, right at the so. moment. Well, but there's Which a lot. But I look, to it. oh, I teach. It's a kid's class. Oh well, probably not. You probably won't <laughs> <use that one. laughs>
look man these people there's enough people here driving rolls royces and mercedes that, that could adopt every single one kid in foster care I mean, in texas no, my wife and i we actually she cannot have children and we do plan on adopting one day but right now right. i'm not really in the financial situation i'm trying to get out of my current house right. this guy's like it's, it's yeah but if you do foster to adopt literally they'll pay you they'll pay for everything right really? so you don't have to pay for anything or you could go on the black market like a, like what these people do and they go to the black market and they buy a baby for 30 or 40 grand that has parents like in russia or china or the ukraine or bulgaria right they'll buy these kids because in bulgaria you know a few dollars an hour is you know average wage so they could sell a kid for five grand and make a big a lot of money right but here in Texas, we got all these kids, but because they're not babies, they're Chloe's age or Aiden's age, nobody wants them, right? He looks like he's having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> he is having fun. They're good kids, too. Where's so. your sign, man? You're hey. enough on your dad's job here. <laughs> yeah, you, go, you guys go home. Well, they, they like to learn and listen. Oh, they like so. to learn. Well, yeah. Good. No, but look, um, my, my big thing is just this. I agree with what you're doing. Mm. My thing is like, when it comes to the church, the, I wouldn't say that they're, I mean, apathetic may be somewhat correct. I, my thing is like, I think they're on the same level as you. It's just that, I don't know that this approach is necessarily the way to get to the people at the church. I feel like they're, right. they don't need as strong as of a slap in the face. So my harsh statement to you in love and kindness sure. is I like the way I'm doing it much better than the way you're not. So like once you start doing it and then you, you see, see. I want to teach a class. <laughs> I actually want to teach a class that talks about Christian living with all political right. perspectives. That's what I want to do. I want to teach at the university level, and I also want to bring it to the local uh -huh. church. And then I might, I might do it here, I might do it somewhere else. Depends on where I end up living, you right. know, a few years down the road. Right. But I mean, right now, I still I'm still working through school, I'm working on my master's right now. We're so, abolitionists of abortion, just like the abolitionists of slave, sure. slavery. So it's the same biblical that. principles, right. you know. But hey, I want to get on my bullhorn for a little bit. Sure. Um, and then uh, here, Clay. So, you want to hold a sign for a little bit? I can. I got to go move my car. <laughs> Where'd you park? Well, I'm just parked over there, but I'm going to park way over there on the other side of the building. So, just hold it for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Uh, I don't support the strong nature of the sign at the church, man. Really? I don't. It's, well, it's, think about that because. I mean, to the, to the church, is, I think I don't think you need as strong of a, of a, of a graphic image. Like, yeah. I don't. I think well, watch this. This is worse. This is worse than the image. Watch. Okay. Well, I'll, 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 <laughs> We are here today to expose the evil and wickedness of child sacrifice really? and the apathy of people who go to church every Sunday towards child sacrifice. As you sit in the pews and hear and get your ears tickled, remember this, 60,000 children every single year will be aborted in Texas and the church is silent and does nothing to make it illegal.